big moron! Hey, moron! Dude, look at me! I'm the Wawa Water Boy, dude. Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. <clears throat> it's 5 a.m., and I, I've, I've got, uh, I, I can't sleep. I, I just can't sleep, um, and I have to leave early here to... Um, take care of some stuff and um this will be brief here this morning i um i honestly don't know where to go with this but i think there is um a big problem here with the dallas cowboys in this defense i mean not just unable to stop anybody i think that there are some real conflicts that are going on and i think i think i, I don't know uh, all, all i can do is i can say what i've seen uh, i can say that with micah being the anointed one being the guy who's gotten so much praise out of the box being elevated and so on that maybe there is a bit of jealousy, whatever. I, I don't know if it's jealousy, anger, or and so on. And I think all this can go back to finger pointing at the end of the season. When the Cowboys lost, we saw Micah Parsons throwing a lot of people under the bus. This was a sidelines yesterday. Now, I'm going to say there was one play where it was a screen set up. A screen was set up. There was five guys, five guys in front of the player. And I saw D-Law cut in between there and sacrifice his body. So this thing did not go. It was not a matter of D-Law not giving his all on that play. I, I from, from my standpoint, I remember commenting and saying, D-Law saved that from being another big-ass play because the guy had five people in front of him. <clears throat> Micah Parsons said yesterday, when asked what happened today, same thing right now. We just got people trying to be Superman. People just got to own their jobs. We don't need any Supermans. We need just 11 guys playing together. This was the sidelines yesterday at the end of the game. Micah Parsons just standing there screaming and Marshawn Nealon getting up there. You know, we had Malik Hooker, if you'll remember. Malik Hooker was asked, and it was a setup question because people, the way you ask questions, you can get things out of people and what it'll do is of course get a quite get an answer that will cause a little bit of angst emily cooker was asked what advice would you give to micah parsons and things you know when we can't stop the run and stuff you know your whole podcast um you think about the time you spent on there the reality is is an hour a week doing a podcast is no different than playing playstation for a couple of hours but players see this and they look at it and say dude you know what's going on they're questioning how you work your work ethic do things and and i'm not saying that he was right or wrong but they have this situation d law saying you know quite frankly we were tired by the end of the year all of these little chinks in the armor here, when you are losing and unable to perform, start getting worse and you start going after each other. And I think that there's some real problems in the locker room between Micah, 
the attention he gets, and everybody else. And I don't know what the fix is on this one. This shit right now is going downhill fast. And they better get this shit under control or it will truly be a really long, long season. You cannot, this, this looks so bad. And, and, you know, I have to put the blame on this still squarely on the Dallas Cowboys. When, you know, Jerry Jones, this stuff is blowing up in his face. His whole thing, I want to make people uncomfortable. I want to make him uncomfortable because of what happened to Green Bay. That he thinks that because I don't sign people, that I end up basically holding their careers and their jobs, you know, in, in, the, in the palm of my hands, that that's going to make them perform. You go through, and instead of doing what other people did and getting contracts done, you wait until the last second to get it done. You have created an environment that is complete chaos. And we can't expect with the chaos that is there with Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones haphazardly doing business, literally, you know, just deadlines make deals get done. Yeah, they get done, but they don't get done well. C.D. Lamb's ass should have been there at training camp every single practice so his ass isn't out of shape. That he's had enough targets and enough catches so that way he's not dropping balls and checking the F out. The defense should have gotten some legitimate studs to go in the middle of the field. And the problem is, is we as Joe the fan look at one or two guys and say they are the problem. When we are asking each one of these guys to do go above and beyond what they can do individually, we keep forgetting that this is a team sport. And when you put too much on one person to succeed, people do not always perform perfectly. People are going to have a bad day. People are going to be nicked up. And this is the problem we have right now. And unfortunately, this team is not a team. This defense is a bunch of pieces. And until those pieces get put together, it ain't going to do nothing right. It ain't going to do nothing right. You have to have 11 guys doing their assignment to succeed. One guy, one guy, not doing his, play ain't gonna work, bro. Play ain't gonna work. That was a hard game. Flip side of this, Baltimore was desperate, needed a win, and doesn't lose to the NFC. I don't know where this season is going, but somebody's got to grab a hold of it and grab a hold of it real fast. And this, what I'm seeing over here, this is not good. This is not good at all. All right, good people. I got to get out of here and um, send prayers, please, please. Send some prayers. As always, I appreciate you guys. And um, people will want me to lose faith in the Cowboys or stop being a Cowboy fan. I, I'm, I'm too deep in, too deep in. I, I can't change at this point. I am a Cowboys fan, do or die. And at the moment, it feels like they are literally dying. It can only get better from here. Peace out.